Hey guys, Kroon YC here, and I just want to do this quick video as to what I've been shooting as of late when I go paintballing. Uh, this is the Empire Resurrection. It's a mechanical marker, an autococker, and I have really fallen in love with this. I got this from uh, Stingray Ops for $550. Uh, you might be able to find it cheaper on BST, but I got mine brand new. But you can find some good deals there too. Um, I've seen some Empire Resurrections go on BSTs for about $300 or so. Uh, I think, I mean in my opinion, it's a pretty good steal for that price as long as it's in good condition. Um, hopefully you can get it from a reputable, reputable seller. Um, I know how these BSTs are, uh, sometimes you get things that aren't as advertised. So it, it's really at your own risk, which is why I bought mine brand new. Um, so what's in the box? So the one issue that Empire always does is if you really want to know the ins and out of the marker it all comes on this CD-ROM here. Um, I, I prefer Planet Eclipse's way of doing it with a full color manual because it's not every day that you have a laptop on the field or even your cell phone on the field if you download the PDF on there. But it, it's just a bit of a nuisance. It's I, I prefer having a manual but that's that's just me. Uh, you do get a quick start guide with some warnings and whatnot. And then the marker's out right now. So it's a nice little foam insert that holds the marker, barrel bag, uh, Allen keys. Underneath it, you get a pretty good uh, barrel kit, but you know how these go. Uh, you never really get the sizes that you truly need. I mean, you waste a lot of time with a 695, 690. Uh, the 685 is installed on the marker right now. Uh, you get a 680 and a 675. These last two are not bad. Um, 685 is good. I would prefer also like a 687 or a 688. And the highest, I guess, um, I guess a 690 is okay for like when you're really shooting horrible paint. Uh, you get a basic toolkit here. You get some O-rings, screws, little thing of lube and uh, get macro lines uh, but it's a really short macro line I'll show you why let's put this all back Oops. excuse the mess in the background and here is the marker itself uh, the current setup if I really need high cap, I usually run my die cam rotor one with the uh, the high tower or high cap uh, half, so I could use more paint. But usually the standard rotor works just fine. Um, this is the 685 two-piece barrel, and that's the tip right there. It's uh, I believe 14 inches. Uh, so you've got your three-way, your LPR, your HPR, uh, your on-off ASA. It's a flip. Um, I actually do have the M, uh, not Empire, sorry. I have a Planet Eclipse aftermarket uh, Pops ASA that I can actually put on here, um, which I did at one point, but I was uh, having a little problem with the new ball valve uh, on the new Ninja SL tanks. This is a 7745 uh, with the version 2 ball valve reg. Which is great. It works awesome with this. Uh, with the Pops ASA, you just need a little more elbow grease to get it to close properly um, to really push that ball valve in. Uh, you got your bolt. Uh, quick, easy, you know, if you break paint, just pop the pin up, pull the bolt out, and you can run the swab right through the breech and it should clean everything out. Um, like I said, this is mechanical, so no batteries required. The trigger is really nice. I like the trigger, it's, it's snappy. Um, you know, it's not like a mouse click on, you know, the electronic paper markers such as geos and whatnot. But, um, yeah, it's a nice snappy pull. And when I'm playing, I find I could probably shoot about 8 balls per second. Uh, maybe a little faster, but I feel like it's still about 8 balls per second. So, yeah, I mean, this is the Empire Resurrection. And, uh, in a moment, I guess I'll take it out and give you guys a little shooting video of it. Uh, there's not much to say. I mean, it's not very hefty, especially with the uh, the Ninja SL tank on the back. Uh, if you have any other questions about it, just hit me up in the comments, and I'll try and answer them to the best 
of my ability but this comes out of the box nicely tuned um, the only little finicky thing I would say is adjusting velocity because autocockers have a sweet spot uh, between the LPR and the HPR um, I'm not the greatest when it comes to tuning I actually had the guys over at Stingray Ops in Brooklyn uh, tune my marker for me to about 280 290 feet per second um, so I try not to mess with it but it does change you know uh, due to the quality of the paintballs you're shooting and how you bore it so usually then it's just small increments on the uh, actually no I don't use the HPR on the back over here I forget what they call it you could fine tune right there you could actually fine tune your velocity there alright guys like I said any questions hit me up if not hopefully uh, one of my friends who are more of an expert on mechanical autocockers can answer them for you uh, so let's go to the shooting vid alright guys so here's the Empire Resurrection I'm going to shoot it for you guys so you can hear how it sounds um, the paint I'm using is a Vulcan Graffiti from the last time I was over at Paintball Sports New York. So once again, a standard uh, rotor, speed feed, Ninja 7745 SL, light. Uh, everything on here is stock. This is the barrel that comes with it. It's a 685 bore. Excuse the backyard, it's a bit of a mess. I haven't had any time to do any uh, yard work yet. I got some weeding and cleaning to do. The gun should be chronoed about 280 from the last outing. Shooting the same paint, same bore. Right, so it would help if I actually turned on the rotor. I don't know if you can see in the distance whether it's hitting the wall or not, but uh, it's pretty ball on ball. Uh, the sound signature is actually not that bad uh, from what I hear from my friends when I'm shooting at them or they're nearby. But if you're the one shooting the marker and you're right behind it, you actually hear a little bit of a ting 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 um, as you shoot it. It is mechanical and uh, honestly it's not as loud as the camera makes it out to be. Alright, thank you.